Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fur video. This is Friday for today's fur video. So as us on Friday, having a look at the weather for, for the month head with the Japanese and CFS uh, V2. So this is going to take us into the second half of May. And I shall get on with that uh, for you in a moment. Just say about the first video released today was our 7 a.m. upload. Nice little couple of minute forecast uh, looking at where the next few days. And uh, we released the ECM to 42 day forecast. So with the ECM model, um, it's all looking rather mysterious uh, for May. So we'll see if the JMA and CFS V2 can uh, shed any light on uh, developments. Um, as I should get on that. Get on that for you uh, in in a second. Just say so got the ten to fourteen day coming up with all the regular features, and also we'll have an an a uh, bank holiday update for you uh, this evening tonight uh, after seven o'clock. So five uploads today. Uh, crazy day. If you're enjoying the uploads, enjoy the videos, and please smash the like button. And let YouTube know that you are enjoying it. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Right, it's such a busy day. I think better get on with it. So we're going to have a look at the uh, GMA 500 millibar height anomaly from the North Pole and Arctic view down, first of all. So, of course, this is the North Pole of the Northern Hemisphere just here. We've got mid latitudes uh, around here. Uh, yellow, orange, and red extrapolate to above average heights, which is high pressure. Blue to below average heights, which is low pressure. These are broken down to week periods. The first week period takes us from the 23rd to the 30th of April. Next week, or the coming week, we'll have high pressure in the North Atlantic, going up towards Greenland, trough of low pressure in over Scandinavia, Northern Europe, and that will bring in quite a cold northerly or northeasterly winds, so cold uh, northeasterly winds to start us off. We go through to week two, it's all change. This is the 30th of April to the 7th of May. Low pressure then is in off the Atlantic. So, yes, in comes the low pressure uh, from the Atlantic into Northern Europe as well, turning increasingly unsettled uh, there with bouts of rain heading in off the Atlantic Ocean. The blocking is going over more towards the Canadian side of the Arctic. So we take the blocking more towards the Canadian side of the Arctic, which means we may start to draw in something a little bit milder with the air from off the Atlantic Ocean, but of course the price to pay for that is that it looks more unsettled. Then we go through to weeks three and four, which will take us from the 7th through to the 21st, 7th to the 21st of May. Um, and this one looks rather unsettled still, uh, low pressure, below average heights around Greenland, Iceland, also a bit of a trough over Scandinavia. Maybe like a flat sort of westerly type flow. Um, so again, a little bit mysterious really, three weeks, three and four. But then again, often is uh, with the JMA. I will think that's probably still rather unsettled though. Uh, so let's confirm all of this with the tropical and mid-latitude uh, view, shall we? So we're going to have a look at... Uh, so we can't see the Arctic and North Pole and Greenland and most of those. So they're off the chart up here. But we will have a look at the temperature at temperature and precipitation anomalies uh, for the next week with the tropical and mid-latitude view. British Isles in, is here in the top right-hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it. So, reminder of the week one, uh, 500 millibar height anomaly with the uh, high pressure in the middle, middle of the Atlantic, mid-Atlantic ridge going up towards uh, Greenland. There's a trough of low pressure over here and also up here around Scandinavia, which means we're probably bringing in northerly or northeasterly winds. I expect this to be quite a cold week, and indeed it is a temperature anomaly uh, for week one, which, remember, is going to be taking us from the 23rd to 30th of April, is below average, average not just through the UK, but through most parts of uh, Northern Europe, actually. And the precipitation anomaly is drier than average, so cool to quite cold and dry to start us off. Uh, now, week two looks much more unsettled. This is the 30th of uh, April to the 7th of May. Low pressure in off the Atlantic Ocean, probably bringing in westerly winds. Um, however, the temperature, temperature anomaly is actually still quite cool. It's actually still a little bit below average with the temperature. So a chilly start to May. Uh, and also the difference, of course, is low pressure and control, it's wetter as well. So above average rainfall and below average temperatures, not the best of starts to May. And then we go through to week three and four, which takes us from the 7th through to 21st of May. Um, all looking rather mysterious. There's low pressure up here, as we know, because we've seen the, seen the Arctic view down. 
there's a bit of a trough over here as well. Otherwise, not much uh, to work on. Temperature, temperature anomaly is lifting up a little bit. So it's not quite as chilly in weeks three and four as it is in weeks one and two. Perhaps around average to possibly slightly above. And it's going to dry it as well. So it looks like actually we might be starting to see uh, more of an anti-cyclonic influence. Maybe as we go further on into May, turning things a little bit drier and warmer. So let's have a look at CFS V2 and see how that compares. Again, these are 500 millibar heights, break it down into week periods. The first week period takes from 23rd, 29th of April, the coming week. Again, mid Atlantic Ridge going up towards Greenland. Trough load pressure to our northeast winds in from northeast direction. Expect this to be a cold week ahead. All of the extended range model output is going for that. So the ECM, JMA, uh, CFS, they're all agreeing with week one. Uh, week two, they're all in agreement with this as well, actually. Uh, 30, uh, 30th of April to the 6th of May. Uh, again, low pressure is much more in the ascendancy for the early part of May. So it's more unsettled. Probably still quite cool, but more unsettled into the early part of May. So for weeks one and two, all extended range model output is in agreement today. So anything from around week three onwards, where the signals become much more uh, weaker. So this is week three with CFS, 7th to the 13th of May, we've got some higher pressure to the south of Greenland, but also towards Spain. Lower pressure is from Greenland to Scandinavia. Um, so again, it's hard to decipher that, but I think we're probably still bringing in relatively cool winds from more of a northwesterly type direction. Probably not as unsettled, uh, but uh, so probably more in way of dry weather, but probably quite cool. And then week four is the 14th to the 20th of May, High pressure then sets up to the north of Scotland, between Scotland and Iceland. So this, of course, will bring in easterly winds. We're going, going to easterly winds there, which could bring some warmer air in from off the continent, actually. Low pressure down towards Spain, somewhat unusual for May. Um, and maybe that low pressure might start to uh, threaten some rain and thunder into the south, perhaps, if temperatures were to lift up enough for convective possibilities. Uh, right, week one temperature anomaly from the 23rd of April to the 29th is uh, colder than average for the UK, especially so for England and Wales. Very cold week uh, coming up. Temperature anomalies are uh, three degrees or more below average. Most parts of Europe are looking uh, really cold as well. Week two is also a uh, cold and average week. This is the 3rd of April to 6th of May. That also has substantially and significantly below average temperatures. Uh, week three is the 7th to the 13th of May. Whoops, let's just highlight this one. See, the uh, 7th to the 13th of May. That one is also below average, a little bit less so, uh, perhaps compared to weeks one and two, but nevertheless, still a bit below average. And then uh, week four is the 14th to the 20th of May, with near normal to slightly below average temperature. So there might be a bit of a gradual recovery in the temperature taking place uh, as we go through May. But overall, it does look like quite a cool month. Uh, certainly first half of the month, anyway, for CFS. Uh, lastly, precipitation. So this is week one. Precipitation anomaly from the 23rd, 29th of May. Dry and average, cold and dry uh, week coming up. Week two is the 30th of May, to, uh, 30th of April, 6th of May. That one is near normal for precipitation. Uh, week three, but you would expect to be more unsettled than that, I think, with low pressure off the Atlantic. Um, week three, 7th to the 13th of May, um, losing a signal now, so probably no signal and no signal for week four either. I would expect by weeks four, it is probably quite dry though, as that high pressure takes over across Scandinavia. So let's uh, round up what we know. Uh, so for week one, the first week, the coming week, uh, is going to be cold and relatively dry, but with below average temperatures. Temperatures are going to take another tumble as the winds go back into the north, northeast again. So they have done soften over the past few uh, weeks and months. Uh, week two looks much more unsettled, so rather cool and showery, maybe rather wet for some areas in uh, in the first week of May, week two. And then week three and four, all sorts of options and possibilities going on. There may be a trend to start to uh, warm things up a little bit, turn things a little bit drier uh, and warmer, perhaps, as we particularly move towards the middle, second half of May. But but it is all very mysterious, uh, this, uh, this particular May. 
of 2021. So all will be revealed, of course, in the coming days. Right, that's it for that one. Uh, we're going to be back. Remember, any forecast beyond uh, beyond sort of five, seven days is fraught with danger, fraught without warning. So it's all just for fun and just a snapshot of what these models are showing today. But it could all, could all look very different uh, next week, of course. We're going to be back later on with your 10 to 14 day, which will include all regular features. So come back for that then. And then we've got our latest bank holiday update for you tonight. For this one, that's all for now, though, and thanks for watching.